today I have got my number one exercise to help you move faster on the ice, both from your stance and from your butterfly. But somehow Gary Price comes across. Last week I gave you three of the new dynamic warm-up exercises I've been using with goalies for their off-ice warm-up. So in case you missed it, click here, I think, <laughs> and uh, make sure you check that out. It makes a huge difference once you get on the ice. I'm gonna finish making my coffee, uh, but while I do that, I'm gonna remind you to subscribe. When you subscribe, it tells YouTube that you're one of us, that you're looking for more awesome goalie training ideas. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit the bell. That tells YouTube that you're one of those serious goalies. Coffee time. before nice to meet you my name is Maria Mountain I'm an exercise physiologist and I specialize in off-ice training for hockey goalies so basically what that means is I help hockey goalies go from untapped potential to confident and consistent in the crease so you're winning more games with fewer injuries and getting attention from the best teams in your area so what is my number one exercise to help you move faster in the crease well there are two really there's one that helps you move faster from your stance and there's one that helps you move faster from your butterfly and I want you to keep in mind that it isn't about an individual exercise so you need to have a foundation to be able to get the maximum benefit out of these exercises I'm going to teach you. And once you have that foundation, there are also advanced progressions that will help you gain even more speed once you've mastered the drills that I'm gonna show you now. If you want those full progressions, I get asked a lot, do you, do you have any training programs available? Yes, I do. Uh, there's a link in the description to see if you qualify to join one of my training groups. But for now, I wanna make sure that you can do this exercise with a good amount of weight with perfect technique first. If you can't do it yet, that's fine. It just means, hey, that's, that's the biggest piece of the puzzle that needs to go in place right now before you move on to these two key drills. Let's get to the lab. I wanna highlight a key point and it's, again, it's not exactly the exercise, it's doing the right exercise at the right time. Even though I'm saying, oh, this is my number one exercise, if you can't do this single leg squat with a good amount of weight, you're not going to get maximum benefit from this. It could even potentially make you slower. So you want to make sure you're following the right training progression. It's not just finding you know, the most advanced exercises out there. When you do the single leg squat, you wanna squat down to about an average bench height. You're gonna sit back in your hips, keeping your balance, and keeping your good knee alignment. So this knee that you're standing on shouldn't be rotating in at all. You shouldn't be falling in with that knee, and you should be able to keep your good neutral back position, not rounding your back at all as you squat down. So again, you should be able to do six repetitions with a good heavy load, then you're gonna be ready to get into these two key exercises. The two exercises are the standing lateral hop and the butterfly lateral hop because from a biomechanics perspective, there's very different forces when we're on our stance or from our skates and when we're moving from our butterfly. The joint angles are different. The way we use our muscles is completely different. So we need to train both. I have a heavy resistance band here. We want a fair amount of resistance, something to push against. Not something that's so heavy we don't move at all, but something we can push against. I'm going to get into my nice sort of neutral ready stance, so my feet you know, just sort of outside my hip width, and you can play around with different stances. So one of the things too that I think is important is working some outer range lateral power and some inner range lateral power, and I've done videos on that on, on, on other power exercises, so you can search the channel, just search power. But for now, we'll go just a nice neutral stance. What you wanna do is really focus on a, being as explosive as possible. And you'll keep your hands out in front. I'm not really worried about following with your head and hands. I'm not, I don't, almost don't want that opening kind of movement. I just want that lateral power because that's what is gonna initiate our speed. So you're going to start here, boom, 
big push. And again, I'm not just trying to be fast. I'm trying to be as fast as I possibly can. Like my legs are loaded spring and I'm pushing off. You'll notice that I'm just wearing a waist belt. I made this, I went to the local camping equipment store. I just bought a webbing belt, a fast text buckle, and I put it together myself with a carabiner. You don't need a belt. You can just hold a band or hold it at your hips or anything like that. So there's nothing magical about the belt. Then we need to do the same thing from our butterfly position. We're not working the recovery part, so we're gonna start with one foot up because we're just interested in pure power today. I'm not gonna have my foot right underneath me because that's gonna give me more of a vertical push. I'm gonna have it just a little bit outside. And, and again, we can play around with the angle, but today we're just looking at building bulk power, bulk speed. So here, nice and strong in the torso and getting that big push and try not to have like a push. We wanna have it go from zero to 100 just as fast as we can and pay attention what's your torso doing are your shoulders leaning back in the direction you're coming from that's a huge no-no everything has to go in the direction you're going in the direction of the puck now remember we are training speed which is power not stamina so we keep the volume very low. That should not be muscularly fatiguing for you if it is your training stamina. So we keep the reps at about four reps on each side. Do you know the difference between speed training and stamina training? Because this is another one of the biggest mistakes I see goalies and trainers make is they say, yeah, we're gonna train some speed. Actually, they're training stamina. So if you can concisely explain it to me in the comments, Go for it and I'll, I'll tell you if it's hit and miss. Uh, if you're like, well, I think I know, like, but I'm not really sure, let me know if you want me to make a, a complete video where I actually walk you through exactly the difference between training to be sp sp speedy, <laughs> fast and explosive and agile versus building goalie specific stamina. I'm not talking about cardio training. I'm talking about the kind of stamina that a goalie needs. So when your team goes down shorthanded for five minutes at the end of a really close game, you still have gas in the tank, or at least you can keep performing despite fatigue. So if you're a little unclear on exactly how you should train those two different qualities, drop a comment below, let me know, and I will shoot a complete comprehensive video on that for you. I will also let you know that for the next little while, uh, I did a goalie success secrets webinar that I think over 700 people attended. Um, and I'm going to make it available on demand for the next little while. So I go over some intangibles uh, that help goalies be more successful or really that what I see the most successful goalies and the most successful athletes I've trained and that includes Olympic champions, Stanley Cup champions, world champions, uh, you know, what do they do that's a little bit different that maybe you haven't thought of and I show you exactly how to implement these strategies into your training. So I'm going to make put a link in the description but you can go check that out for a limited time on demand. And as always I have handpicked a couple of videos that I think you're going to find interesting that you can watch next. That's it. That's all. I'm out of here.